How to replace the thermal paste on your laptop. Today let's replace the thermal paste on the Acer Nitro for laptop as our followers have requested. Replacing the thermal paste can reduce the maximum temperature, prevent thermal throttling, and enhance the performance of your laptop, improving the frame rate by 30%. Get ready to revitalize your laptop in just 6 easy steps. Step 1, Get Tools Ready. Many tools are needed to replace the laptop's thermal paste. Apart from the thermal paste and thermal paste cleaning wipes, some gadgets can help you to disassemble the laptop much more easily. If you don't want to buy them separately, you can find our total solution combo in our profile. Step 2. Remove the laptop case and battery. Flip your laptop over and use a PH0 bit to remove all the screws on the bottom cover, 11 screws in total. Use a storage box or a magnetic mat to avoid confusion about the different sizes of screws. Next, prepare a triangular pry tool. Insert it into the gap at the bottom of the laptop and widen the gap. Then, pry open the clips around the edges to remove the bottom cover. After opening it, unplug the power cord and press the power button for 15 seconds to discharge. Step 3. Remove the heatsink and old thermal paste. First, disconnect the fan cable. It's a tight space, so you might need to remove the cable on the top first, then use tweezers to disconnect the fan cable from the left and right. Switch to a PH00 bit and remove the two screws on the heatsink fan and seven screws on the heatsink module. Remember to keep them separate to avoid confusion. Once you remove all the screws, take off the heat sink. Put on gloves and use the thermal paste cleaning wipes to remove the dried thermal paste from the heat sink and processor. We recommend using Cooling Monster KLEAN01 thermal paste cleaning wipes. If you don't have thermal paste cleaning wipes, you can use a lint-free towel with high concentration alcohol instead. Over time, the thermal paste on the laptop has dried up and the heat dissipation efficiency has decreased. So it's important to replace the old thermal paste. Step 4. Clean the fan. This is an optional step, and you can skip it if you don't want to clean the fan. Pick up the fan and clean off the dust on the fan. You can use compressed air for better cleaning results. Step 5. Apply thermal paste. Apply some high-performance thermal paste onto the CPU and GPU. Here we used Cooling Monster KOLD01 thermal paste. You can use the spatula to evenly spread out the thermal paste and remove the excess. You can also use the P-size method if you like. Step 6. Reassemble your laptop. Now, reinstall the heatsink module, fan, power cord, and bottom cover back in reverse order. First, plug in the fan cable and reassemble the heatsink module. Install the cable on top of the fan connector, and then install the two screws on the fan and the seven screws on the heatsink module. Tighten the screws in a diagonal pattern to prevent uneven stress. Finally, plug in the power cord and use a PH0 bit to reinstall the 11 screws on the bottom cover. Follow and subscribe to Cooling Monster and let us know which laptops to demo this process with next.